guys, welcome back to my channel. So first of all, I just wanted to kind of acknowledge the fact I'm in a different room. This is a new family kitchen. Um, this has just recently been done up and that's why it might sound a bit echoey. But I thought it'd be quite nice to film in here. It's very light and it's very miserable outside today. So it was just too dark in my own room. And I'm doing my annual year in review. So this was obviously for 2017. It is now 2018. And that is quite scary because 2018 is the year that I am due to graduate from uni the year I'm hopefully going to get a job and yeah so that's what I've got to come in this year. Instead of looking forward I'm going to look back to the past year, some of the news stories and some of my personal highlights and I'm also going to include some of my music favourites at the end um, which is what I did last year because I said 2016 was a really good year for music but then I thought 2017 was also a very good year for music. So I thought I would just tag that along at the end. So I'm going to start off with some news stories first in 2017 that kind of shook the headlines. Probably like the key um, stories earlier on in the year were the terror attacks in Manchester and London which were really shocking events, um, really, really horrible. Even like in the wake of all of those horrible attacks, uh, it kind of showed true like British spirit by everyone coming together in times of sadness to try and help other people. And the One Love Manchester concert was a true representation of how people can come together in times of need to try and combat this major issue and to try and encourage like, peace amongst people and try and remove that animosity level. And another thing which was, well, it was in the summer again, was the Grenfell Tower fire, which even now is still very shocking to read about. Um, it hadn't been confirmed until recently the number of people that had actually passed away. There was a lot of aftermath from that event, including like, political conflict. But again, after the Grenfell Tower fire, a lot of people, including celebrities and just local communities, grouped together to bring clothes, shelter, food, daily supplies for the victims, which I think was really nice to see. The royal family went and met, met some of the victims and uh, their families as well as the emergency services who were just incredible throughout the whole thing. They really do an amazing job and this year alone it's just shown how important and how well respected the emergency services are. These were two big events and not very happy events but from it we have learned that as a whole nation like, we have the strength to be able to come together and support each other in times of need, which has been one positive thing to come from all of this. And in some like showbiz news now, so obviously I like, love Beyonce and this year she welcomed the twins. Amazing. When editing this video, I realised that I missed quite a big news story in the showbiz world, and that was the royal engagement of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, which was so exciting. They got engaged towards the end of the year, and they're getting married next May in Windsor. Also in 2017, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge announced that they are expecting another baby so that'll be a third for Kate and William in the new year so that's another exciting thing for the royal family. The news has also been majorly dominated by Trump in the US and his stupid fake news and all of that rubbish and in the UK it's been predominantly Brexit related we're still not over Brexit, it's still happening. But yeah, let's carry on with the video, shall we? So now I'm moving on to some personal highlights of my own. 
One of them was completing my placement this year. My placement was split into two halves, so I started my second half in February and um, finished then in August and had a really good time there, loved the people that I worked with. This year I turned 21, so I am now officially legal to drink in America and gamble in America. Great. And that was nice. I had pretty much like a month long celebration for my birthday. I don't know who I think I am because I'm certainly not the queen. I had celebrations at home in Kent and I had celebrations in Reading with my friends there. And I went to London with my mum to Princess Diana dress exhibition in Kensington Palace. And I also went to go and see Take That again. They were amazing, of course. And I had a nice spa day on my actual birthday. That was lovely, very relaxing. This year, I have done quite a lot of travelling, which I didn't think that I would have done, like this time last year. Uh, but I think because of my placement and earning money, I chose to um, save and go on a few holidays this year. Um, some like weekend breaks and some longer. Earlier in the year, in May, I went to Dublin with two of my friends, Holly and Kirsty, and that was really, really fun because I've never been to Dublin before. And then I really enjoyed going to Temple Bar, experiencing the Irish culture in all the bars, and we went to couple of museums, went to the Kilmaine Jail, which was so fun. What else did I do this year? I went to New York, which is again part of my birthday, because it was also my sister's 18th this year, so we went to kind of celebrate that. And New York was incredible, I had the best time, of course, because it's my favourite place in the world, I love it. And we were there for a week, and we saw the 4th of July fireworks, which was one of my highlights, I think, of the whole week. That was amazing, a great holiday. Then, once I finished my placement, I went into training. I went with my really good friend from home, Olivia, who I've known for years. She's been on my videos previously. And we went around Europe by train um, to five countries, six destinations. We started off in Prague, then we went to Salzburg in Austria, then went to Budapest, then went to Vienna, then went to Lake Beled in Slovenia, and finally we went to Split, where we then flew home. And that was two weeks in September, and that was such an amazing holiday. We had the best time. It was really funny like, to go and live experience at the hostels, we hadn't seen hostels before, and the trains, some of them were quite interesting. We had a night train um, from Lake Led to Split, which was, yeah, it's quite something. I'm not sure I would do that again in a hurry. Then after that, I went back to uni, so I've started my final year now. It's been really nice to be back my friends again. Believe it or not, I still have more personal highlights to go through. I've got so many this year. Um, I also went to Edinburgh, that's another holiday I went on, for a couple of days with my friend Emma from uni. Went to go and see all the like, Christmas markets and wander around Edinburgh because I've never been to Scotland. So this year, 2017, was the year of exploring the UK and Europe pretty much. And another personal highlight, just to finish it off, was Lost, which is another video that I've done this year. And that was when me and my two friends, Beth and April, went on this charity challenge to try and get back from an unknown location in the quickest time possible without spending a penny. So to do that, we were dressed as unicorns, like as you do, uh, with like a unicorn horn on our head and had a big sign saying Lost and like Destination Reading, Raising for Charity and the public were very, very generous. It was a long day but it was so, so fun. So we got to go on the train, we went on the tube, we walked around London for a couple of hours just like, well, how are we going to do this? Then we were able to get the tube 
and then from there we got a bus and got a coach and then finally we got a ride just from someone coming out of Reading train station and um, so we were able to hitchhike back to the uni so we used all these different modes of transport which was just great we had the best day ever it was hilarious so that's all my personal highlights and now I've just thought I'd finish off with some music favourites from the year. 2017 has been the year of Ed Sheeran. He had come back in February and been in the charts ever since, I think. That's been one of my favourite albums, I think, of the year. My favourite songs from that album are Dive, Happier, Shape of You and Galway Girl. Galway Girl just reminds me of going to Dublin, so that's why it's one of my favourites. Also, uh, this year, Sam Smith made a comeback and I love his new album, The Thrill of It All. For me, it's one of those albums that the more you listen to it, the more you like, appreciate it. My favourite songs from that are One Day at a Time, Burning, Say It First and One Last Song. They are my faves. I find it difficult to just choose one song on these albums because they're all so good. Another artist that I've grown to love this year, who I haven't heard of previously is Khaled and he brought an album out this year called American Team and his a voice is, just, is so nice to listen to it's very like chilled and kind of reminds me a bit of Frank Ocean and I love Frank Ocean's music the couple of songs that I've really liked from the album are another sad love song Location and American Team. And I also like the song Silence as well, which is what he's featured on with Marshmallow. It's Marshmallow. That concludes my year review for 2017. I hope you all enjoyed your Christmas and your New Year festivities, and I really hope that you have a great 2018. I'll see you guys with a new video soon. Bye!